Hello, welcome back to another Spring in Sheffield video, which I was also filming back in May. Uh, this is showing us Ecclesaw Woods this time. Done a few comparison shots showing what it was like back in winter time, and uh, also what it's been like now in May. So let's just have a look. Predominantly uh, beech trees in this forest. See them, that one there on the left. Quite old ones as well. Other than that, it's mainly, you know, horse chestnut, a bit of hazel, um, well, the old bit of hazel, holly here and there, and possibly, is it blackthorn, I want to say? So anyway, this was a lot different than when I came there in, in winter. This is a lot more vibrant, isn't it? As I was saying in the uh, previous video, Spring in Sheffield, uh, it was really, really humid this day. Hopefully it comes up on the camera. There were some parts of the forest that were like... There was just steam coming up from the floor. It looked uh, quite rainforesty. It's actually the uh, summer solstice today, 21st of June, when I'm recording this. Recording the voice, that is. This footage was from about a month or so ago. I'm trying to work on some of my thumbnails. Um, maybe I'll outsource that to somebody, I don't know. A friend who's particularly good at them, I'm not sure. It's the sort of thing where you can tweak them a bit, but it, it's quite hard to know if you've actually made much difference or not. I'd like to film the graveyard in Sheffield at some point, I might get up early to do that. Yeah, film the graveyard, maybe go to Bakewell. It would be good to record the Monsell Trail actually, if I could uh, fit the camera to my bike, that would be good. Perhaps I could cycle to Bakewell and then, if it's early enough in the morning, do that. Should be coming up to where that um, tyre swing was at some point. It's not too far. Yeah, you can kind of get a sense in the background there, in the distance, it's a bit, a bit steamy. Not the longest of videos, but we'll show you a few uh, comparison shots so you can see the difference. We'll also see some tadpoles at the end that I managed to film underwater, so that'll be good. I'll have to go back there and see if they've, uh, any of them have become frogs. Magpie going past there. You can still see um, oh, some bluebells there that were still around. I think they've all gone now. You can still see the carpet of orange leaves from the previous year, you see. <laughs> Except now I've got a bit more bit more greenery. This happened to line up quite well, just about up till here. Yeah, I was pleased with that, because it's quite hard to find uh, shots that are exact. Come back under here. I think we'll give you another comparison in a second. The uh, swinging tyre now replaced by something else. <laughs> These dens are still uh, going strong. Yeah, I didn't try that one out for size. Just uh, give a look at the sky there. Yeah, those really old um, thick trunks of the uh, beech trees. I'll have to go back and measure them and let you know how old they are. There's a holly tree there. I don't actually know when this giant beach here fell down. Part of me wants to see one fall, but um, obviously not when I'm uh, in the path of where it's falling. But yeah, that was an enormous tree.
I wonder whether it was wind or lightning or just the age of the tree. You know, the blue of the um, of the bluebells adds a bit of contrast, doesn't it? It's a bit different, a bit green. To contrast with the blue, it looks really nice. Oak there on the right, we just went past. Transition here, just to walking a bit further up. We're going to show the, I'm going to show you the Collier's grave, and then we'll finish on the Collier's pond that we saw last time. Beach, endless beach. <laughs> so different to last time. I would recommend going for a walk around there though. They're a lot bigger than they seem at first glance, the oak there. I think that's Cecil or English oak, not 100%. Oh. I'll leave a tag of what that is in the bottom. Because I don't think it's horse chestnut. It's something slightly different. Yeah, I'll, I'll find out. It looks like horse chestnut, doesn't it? But I know there's definitely another one, which isn't sweet chestnut or horse chestnut. Anyway, I might be wrong. Just have a quick look. I'm sure there was one called dogwood or <laughs> something odd. Anyway, that would have been revealed in text underneath. Beach. Oh, this was this wide expanse. A bit more of a canopy going on this time. Even more of these ancient uh, beech trees. We're not too far from um, the Collier's grave. I think from now on, it's been good to see these places change throughout winter, and spring and summer, but um, I think only new locations from now on, I think. I've done Ecclesaw Woods twice. I've done Ecclesaw Woods twice. I've done North Lees about four times, so... i will probably still go back there and camp because it's a lovely spot and it's easy for me to get to, but, but let's have some a bit more variety going on. That's why I'm thinking Bakewell, I'm thinking the graveyard. Probably loads more places about Sheffield actually, isn't there? But I think I'd rather range a bit further afield over summer. Oh, this bit. Slightly easier to traverse this time, this bit. It was a lot muddier over February. Coming up to that little brook through the holly. Got no ivy this time, alas. It's not quite as active as it was last time. Still tripping away though. Not really deep enough to submerge the camera under though, so that's why I haven't taken an underwater shot there. It worked well in the pond, as you'll see at the end though. It's a little blurry because it is quite murky water, but you can see the tadpoles. Yeah, it looks like Rowan, but it looks the leaves look slightly different. Pretty sure it is though. What's just mm, It's deceiving that one. Oh, there's there on the right, look. Really. No, it's not. You see, it's not growing in that fan shape that horse chestnut does. No, we need to check silver birch. The downy birch. And then one's got a flatter base of the leaf, and one's more rounded. Yeah, we'll have a look. What, this, yeah. It's not growing in the same shape as... Um, you know, it's just sweet chestnut then, isn't it? What am I thinking? 
It looked like it was growing in that fan shape that the horse chestnut grows in. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I wonder where else I can go and film. I'm a little wary of mounting uh, my camera to the bike without having a full protective case for it, just in case anything can happen on a bike, it could fall off or crash or, I mean, it's unlikely, <laughs> it's very unlikely that it's still possible. You run into something in the dark in those tunnels on the Montal Trail, so I could just go steady, couldn't I? Make sure I've got enough battery power to film all of it. Because that's a really nice trail. Although, I wonder if they open those old train tunnels though. I think they close them overnight, don't they? I don't like going to film it, but I don't want to be loads of people around because I'm filming, you know, the landscape and the trail, not <laughs> the general public. It's not the a medium I wish to capture. But I've got a good editing software, I can just blur out faces or anything if I wanted to. Some of these shots do line up relatively well, but I'm cutting the screen in half, aren't I, to bring another one on, so some will be lost, but what long down along here is Collier's Pond. Got this bridge not much has changed here. <laughs> there was actually just a tiny bit of water trickling through there, if you see. Completely dry up in spring though. Pretty stable this footage as well, so that's good. It'd be good to go to Wales or Scotland or somewhere over summer and just uh, for us to film some new areas and see what trees we've got around there. Okay, Collier's Ponds just down here, here we go. Oh, look, it's so grey, like back in that February, isn't it? You really can see the difference. Still a beautiful place, whether it's winter or not, though. Coming up to the pond, which looks like the water level was a lot higher back then, too. Uh, where is it? No, it's about the same, really. Maybe it was a little bit higher. Yeah, it was slightly. You can see on the left there where there's that line of mud. It's a little bit, little bit lower, maybe half a foot. And I was just debating here. Should I try and film these tadpoles? Because that's me trying to film them, but look, you can't see. There's one maybe in the middle of the screen there, but I thought, I'm going to have to go underneath. <laughs> I think I was just debating whether to do it or not, and then let's just go for it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tap pause at the end there. I'll see you again for the next video. Alright, bye.